On today's episode, we see whether my questionable SR20 rebuild is a success or I'm in a whole load of trouble. As it sits, the engine's all back together. I've pretty much installed everything minus the radiator, which I'll get to in a second. But I wanted to mention the Wiring Specialties Pro Wiring Harness was an absolute joy to install. It came together so well. I'm really impressed with the length of the wires and connectors, everything lined up, plugged in, and looks way better than the old junky factory harness that I had. If you've been following along with the S14 series, you'll know that it blew a head gasket, which in turn pressurized the cooling system and ballooned my old radiator. So I've decided to upgrade once again, as I always do. Uh, this time, thanks to my friends over at Turn 14, I got connected with Mishimoto, and this is their X-Line aluminum performance radiator. And what differs on this compared to their conventional units is that it has a three row core, which will actually increase cooling capacity. So this is the top of the line radiator. If you're looking for utmost performance, the X-Line is the way to go. And on top of that, we're gonna do some ducting to make sure it's got enough airflow to keep my engine running nice and cool at the racetrack. Let's drop this in. As per usual, Mishimoto Rad fits like a glove. Everything checks out. So let's get the hoses on here and then we'll work on some ducting. I wish I had my old upper radiator hose to show you because it had a massive hole in it. It ended up blowing out when the system was pressurized. So to prevent that from happening, I'm gonna be going with Mishimoto's four layer silicone hoses. These guys are brand new. They're not gonna be as old and brittle as my factory ones. I shouldn't have been running them. I don't know what I was thinking, but well, you live and learn. So this time around, I'm gonna make sure I've got the right part for the job, which is a four ply silicone hose. Thanks to Lee Customs, I now have a much nicer radiator support bracket. So the factory one is out and his is in. Well, I went and tried to prime the engine and Houston, we have a problem, a rather large one. There's an oil leak from the front side of the cover here, I think it's in between the head and the front timing cover. So I'm gonna have to pull the valve cover here to have a look, but things are not off to a good start. Damn it. So I've been doing a little bit of trying to figure out why there's a massive oil leak here. And there's an oil passage that leads for the chain tensioner. But the problem is I just slid a razor blade in there and what I noticed is the head gasket that's supposed to seal the oil passage doesn't seem to be there. So I'm not sure if that's an oversight that I missed or it's an improper head gasket or what, but it looks like this engine is gonna be coming out once again in order for me to fix it. Maybe I'll just pull the head this time, but nevertheless, I'm pretty gutted, I'm not gonna lie. I was hoping this thing would start up and not have any issues. So this is a big setback, especially because I don't have a lot of time to work on this car, but more so now that I think I either have to pull the head again, which is a ton of work. So this really sucks, but I will keep you all posted as we continue the saga of the S14 series and all of the mishaps that come with it huge gash in it. It ended up blowing up because of the over pressurization. If you guys want to support what we're up to here, you can check out our Patreon page. And if you don't, that's cool too. Yeah.